I'm sure you will agree with me if I say that to achieve something worthwhile, you need focus. You need attention on something. But how to focus on one thing? In a time where you have a message after every second in the WhatsApp groups, where you have notification from all social media sites, where any of your friends, any of your family member can call you, can distract you from the things which you are doing. So how to get things done? Well, today I am going to share with you summary of a wonderful book which says that stillness is the key. Now stillness is being calm, slowing down for a long time and getting things done. How to do that? I will share with you the lessons which I learned from this book. As usual, I will share the five lessons. I am sure you will love these five lessons and you will be able to implement these lessons in your own life to get things done. The first thing, the ancient philosophy says that, that we humans have a disease and that disease is overindulgence and less focus. We overindulge ourselves into the things, what's going on in the country, what president is doing, what is going on in my family. What's the point of knowing all this? Believe me, if something is important to you, you do not need to follow that thing. That information will come to you. You will get that information without social media, without from a call from any friend. You will get to know from any news, from any source, if the thing is important to you. So how to stop overindulging ourselves? and from so many distractions. The first thing is that, that you do not need to go after the information. Something important to you will come to you. So if you are thinking that if I leave the social media, if I'm not going to see my notifications, I'm, I might miss something. Believe me, you will miss nothing. This is the first lesson. The second lesson of the book is that when we humans have too much information, we lose the focus. We lose the focus. So you do not have to feed yourself from all the information. When you think that all the popular, all the successful people have their secretaries, have their PAs. Why they have PAs? Because the PAs filter the unnecessary information. They only get the required information. So the second key is that, that you have to select, you have to be selective for the input which your mind is receiving. You have to be selective from the information. You can decide about the emails from the people you want to see. You can decide about the websites on which you believe that they provide the good information. So this is the second lesson from this book. The third lesson which I learned from this book is that, that we humans have the problem of reacting. Something happened, we react. And believe me that most of the problems, when something happens to you, you are not responsible for that. That cannot do anything to you, any problem, any event. How you react to it, what kind of opinion you build with that event, that is going to impact whole your life. I most of the time tell to the people I train that the story of two brothers. There were two brothers. Their father was alcoholic and he used to beat their mom. One of them decided that he is going to change the situation. He is going to work hard. He is going to get graduated and get things done. That person became a successful lawyer while his other son thought that why these things are happening with me? Why only my fi family is fighting? Why others are not fighting? Why people have a good life? I have a bad life. I'm unlucky, you know. And then he again became alcoholic just like his father. So both of them were having the same circumstances. 
how they handle the circumstances this is what decides about your future this is what become impact on you in the long run so you do not have to react you have to respond to the situation and fourth point is linked with that and that is that to achieve to the focus you need to believe in something bigger if you are a muslim you can offer your prayers and put things on god if you are not a religious person you can do the meditation to get things done to get the focus the point is you do not have to react on everything you should train your mind to be in your senses to all the time focus on the things and you get the focus by not getting angry you have to practice this imagine that why we get angry all the time on our the, on our subordinates on the people who are lower in ranks while we we never get angry on the people who are above in the ranks we never get angry on them and i think i have talked most of the points in which i wanted to talk about but one thing is that yeah the problem there is a one quote that the problem with the humans is that they do not sit in a room and do their own work this is again problems with us that uh, we uh, most of the time uh, do not let things go our ego is a bigger problem this point i was missing this is extremely important part of this book that ego is a uh, uh, is a, is a bigger problem we have to deal with the ego we have to control our ego and do not get angry and the fifth point is that that we have to decide at a certain point that something is enough for us we have to fill our soul we have to fill our mind so this is something which you decide that i um, the enough money is enough the some if, if i am having friendship if i am living in some area this area is enough now i have to move into some other area these are the things which you learn from the stillness these are the things which you learn from slowing down imagine some people i have seen i have worked in the corporate culture they spend years and years on working on something and then they say oh i have i have spent my maybe 10 years in this office and i even do not realize that what i learned and what i did so if you are not focusing if you are not uh, uh, continuously rethinking then chances are that you will not be able to get things done and the last point the fifth point from this book is that that you need not, you need to write whatever you feel you need to write whatever you think what happens that keep a journal keeping a journal will help your mind to analyze the things keeping a journal will kind of oh, 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 overthrow the burden on the paper if you have written down something your mind will continuously will not distract you about that thing so you have to write down that thing so this is all from the book stillness is the key i'm sure you find this summary useful if you want to listen more summaries you can see on my youtube channel more than 500 summaries of the books if you have not subscribed so far our, chan our channel please subscribe it thank you so much